this is our tutorial number 6 about work energy principle in this tutorial we will solve uh, in this tutorial we will solve some numerical problems related with friction some with work done and others work energy principle so in fact i am including two uh, numerical problems for each of these and there will be some uh, examples for you to solve yourself okay let's take uh, le uh, let's take a look at the first one So in this numerical problem, a boy exerts a 36 newtons horizontal force as he pulls a 52 newtons sled across a cement sidewalk at constant speed. Okay, take a notice of this constant speed. Uh, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction? Means you are asked to find out kinetic coefficient of kinetic friction between the sidewalk and the metal sled runners and you have to ignore air resistance you have to consider the friction between the sidewalk and the metal sled runners and ignore air resistance okay so from this uh, statement we can extract our given data as the applied force f is equal to 36 newtons which is the force applied by uh, by the uh, boy on the sled and the weight of the sled is 52 newtons and we are asked to find out the coefficient of kinetic friction first we must know the formula for uh, coefficient of kinetic friction then we, uh, then, we then we shall start solving it because uh, we should know what parameters and what are the uh, uh, values that we require from that formula to find out coefficient of kinetic friction so for that we know that coefficient of kinetic friction is f n sorry it should be f of f the uh, force of friction it is equal to mu k when it is when kinetic friction is involved kinetic friction you you remember that the uh, the uh, coefficient of kinetic friction is the one when the object is in motion right so that is the kinetic frictional force and multiplied with normal force so we should know normal force and force of friction to find out coefficient of kinetic friction now we already know what is the force which is exerted by the boy which is 36 newtons and we know the force of force or the weight of the metal sled which is 52 newtons okay from weight we can find out normal force because we know that normal force is equal to the weight okay but opposite in direction uh, the magnitudes are equal so we can write like this at fn is equal to mg the normal force is equal to weight of the object which is 52 newtons right and we also know that when the object is in constant speed means that when it is moving with uniform velocity the frictional force means the overall the net force acting on the object is equal to zero means that the force applied by the boy is being balanced out by the force of kinetic friction therefore force of kinetic friction must be equal to the applied force and hence equals its magnitude um, its magnitude must be equal to 36 newtons you uh, notice that there is no vector sign on the top of these because this is in magnitude form because the actually in the vector form the force of friction will be in opposite direction to the applied force if the applied force is in uh, leftwards direction then the force of friction will be in the rightwards direction okay so in that case we should include negative sign in it but we are dealing with magnitudes only that is why we are 
not including head, uh, overhead vector signs here okay now we know that fn is equal to 52 newtons and frictional force is equal to 36 newtons we can use the for formula for force of kinetic friction and we will solve for mu k like this and then we apply we insert uh, the values of f f uh, means the force of friction and normal force and we get this answer so mu k is you know that it is a dimensionless quantity it does not have any unit so this is our answer very simple right in this problem the, it states that uh, 100 kilograms or 1 into 10 raised to the power 2 kilograms grade is being pushed across a horizontal floor by a force P. The applied force is called P here. That makes an angle of 30 degrees below the horizontal. Now this force is applied in such a way on the crate uh, in pushing it such that it is making an angle of 30 degrees but below the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction is given 2 in magnitude okay and what should be the magnitude of p so that the net work done by it and the kinetic frictional force is zero means that you have to find out the magnitude of p uh, such that the work done by p is equal to the work done by kinetic frictional force but the overall net work done will be equal to zero because the direction of the applied force and the direction of the frictional force are always opposite in direction and since the object is moving under the action of applied force that is why the force of friction between the crate and the horizontal floor is called as kinetic frictional force okay now from this statement we can uh, uh, extract our given data so yeah let, let's take a look at the diagram first so this is the crate and this is the applied force and it is making an angle theta below the horizontal okay so you must uh, know that if two lines are crossing each other the opposite angles are equal okay so this angle and this angle both will be equal okay so this, if this is 30 degrees this one will also be 30 degrees okay now from the statement we can extract our given data like this that m of the object is 1.00 into 10 to the 2 kilograms or 100 kilograms the angle is 30 degrees and mu k or uh, coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.200 and the net work done is equal to 0 joules okay this is also given so because we have to find out the magnitude of p when net work done by it is equal to the kinetic friction forces zero okay so that's why we are writing w net is equal to zero joules and what we are uh, have to find out is the applied force p this force you have to find out this force in we can draw a free body diagram of that in this uh, that box that crate is not represented with this uh, green dot okay the applied force is making an angle 30 degrees it was a making angle 30 degrees below the horizontal but uh, as i mentioned in the previous slide that the opposite angles are always in equal so if it, we extend this line it is making an angle okay let me write it here for you let me draw it here for you okay if we extend this line like this and it is making an angle of 30 degrees here its opposite corresponding angle will also be equal to 30 degrees okay so this is the direction of the applied force and the object is moving in this direction because it is being pushed along the horizontal floor okay so the kinetic friction will be in the opposite direction okay and the magnitude of that is 0 0.200 newtons so the weight is uh, vertically downwards of course f is equal to mg therefore the normal force will be in upwards direction and now since we are asked to find out the uh, magnitude of, of the applied force such that the work done by the applied force is equal to the work done by the kinetic friction 
okay now let us start solving it so first we can divide me we can uh, find out components of the force here let me draw for you here if this is the applied force we can find it we can divide it it's into its components like this so this one because this is the angle of 30 degrees this one will be p of sin 30 degrees and this one will be p cos 30 degrees okay okay now let us start solving it first we know the formula of work which is equal to which is equal to w which is equal to f as cos of theta so f cos of theta is the component of the force along the direction of s or displacement okay then the work done by the applied force can be represented like this so w underscore p is the work done by p therefore it can we can replace f with p because this is because applied force is represented with p here in this problem so p cos of 30 this one times the displacement this becomes our formula for that now we calculate work done by the frictional force fk kinetic frictional force so it can be written like this so fk is actually the force and cause of 180 degrees so why 180 degrees because the let me draw it for you because the direction of motion of the object is because object is moving in this direction along the positive x-axis this is the direction of s this is displacement and the force of kinetic friction is on the other opposite direction therefore the angle between these two is 180 degrees therefore therefore we can write it like this because cause of 180 degrees is minus 1 so it becomes minus fk times displacement s now what is the magnitude of fk we know that fk or force of kinetic friction is equal to coefficient of kinetic friction times force neutral force uh, sorry normal force okay so now we need in order to find out the magnitude of fk we first f have to find out the value of normal force we call these we give numbers to these two equations as equation one and equation two now we tried finding out the normal force we know that no, the normal force is equal to the weight of the object okay we are given mass which is 100 kilograms we multiply it with g and we will get the weight and it, the magnitude of weight will be equal to the normal force here like this okay fn is the uh, force which is vertically upwards mg is the force which is vertically downwards and p sine of theta is the component of the force component of the force in the downward direction let me draw it again for you that the that was on the previous slide this is p sine 30 degrees and this one is p cos 30 degrees now all the vertical forces these are all the vertical forces this is in upwards direction this one is downwards direction and this one also in downwards direction in the free body diagram you can see that that is why there are negative signs with mg and p sine of theta since there is no vertical motion we can consider that the sum of all these forces is equal to zero that is why we can write it like this fn minus uh, mg is minus p sine of theta is equal to zero from here we can calculate the value of fn so fn is equal to it um, both of these uh, uh, terms go to the opposite side and becomes positive on the other side of the equation so fn is equal to mg plus p sine of 30 we do not know the value of p yet 
okay that is why we cannot find out the numerical value of fn as of now so we put this value in the previous equation fk is equal to mu k fn so that equation becomes this one now we can put this value of fk in equation number one of the on the previous slide so it okay now we can find out uh, the work done by the kinetic frictional force from the by substituting the value sorry hold on please by substituting the value of the kinetic frictional force in the previous equation we get this one this was the value uh, this was the uh, value of kinetic frictional force fk so the formula was actually the work done was equal to wf is equal to minus mu k f k s so this f k is substituted by its value by now we substitute its values here um, the mu k was equal to 0.2 m is 100 and g is equal to 9.8 which is gravitational acceleration p we do not know yet and sine of 30 is equal to 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 times s so multiplying this point to inside we get this value now we were given the condition that we have to find the value of p when the work done by the kinetic frictional force and the applied force is equal to the network done by these two forces is equal to zero therefore now we apply that condition and the sum of the work done by applied force p and the work done by the kinetic frictional force is equal to zero now we insert the values of work done by P and the work done by kinetic frictional force like this. So in the previous slide, you saw WP was equal to 0.866 times S uh, and the work done by kinetic frictional force is this one. This negative sign comes here, 196 plus this one. Now we eliminate S from here. We means take it common and send it to the other side and it is eliminated. Then we solve for P. So then we will be left with this equation here. We will be left with 0.866 minus 196 minus 0.100 P is equal to 0. Now you can solve it for P and you will get this answer. Okay. So this will be the answer for this problem. I hope everything is clear. Okay. <clears throat> okay, students, in this example, in this example, a husband and wife take turns pulling their child in a wagon along a horizontal sidewalk. Each exerts a constant force and pulls the wagon through the same distance. Now, there is a car. There is a child wagon, okay, a problem on which uh, there is a baby and the husbands and wife are pushing them pushing it uh, one by one. They're, they're taking turns they're not pushing together they're not pulling together they're taking turns once the husband pulls and after that wife pulls each exerts a constant force means that when husband is pulling he is exerting same force I mean throughout the distance he is uh, pulling the cart and when wife starts to pull she also pulls keeps her force constant during the time she is pulling it and the, they both pull the wagon through the same displacement it means if the husband is pulling it for like two uh, 200 meters the uh, wife also pulls it 200 meters and then they keep on rotating but the distance they keep, they pull it through the same distance equal distance and the uh, duration during which they are pulling it they keep their force constant okay they do the same amount of work okay now another condition is that they are doing same amount of work but the husband's pulling force is directed 58 degrees above the horizontal and the wife's pulling force is directed 38 degrees above the horizontal now the angle of uh, the force with which the husband and wife pull the wagon is are different from each other 
there's been pulse with a force whose magnitude is 67 newtons okay so you are given the uh, force of the husband's pull that is 69 newtons what is the magnitude of the pulling force exerted by his wife now you have to find out the force with which the wife pulls the child wagon let's first draw free body diagrams so this is the this black spot is the the wagon okay the child wagon and the the this force is the one fh the one which is uh, exerted by the uh, husband which is 67 newtons it is given in the statement this one it is making an angle of 58 degrees above the horizontal okay uh, and in the positive we consider it in the positive x direction so obviously the weight will be downward and the corresponding normal force will be upwards in direction equal in magnitude to the downwards weight and the force of kinetic friction will be in the opposite direction to the motion of the car the motion of the wagon will be along the positive x direction so uh, why how do you know that this is the force of kinetic friction because the wagon is in motion so when the object is in motion the force of friction is always kinetic friction similar is the uh, free body diagram for the situation when wife is pulling the wagon and on the only thing the only difference is the angle of the applied force so we call the force applied by the, uh, the pulling force of the wife uh, FW as for the husband was FH for wife is FW this is uh, unknown we have to find this force but the angle of this force is 38 degrees above the horizontal okay now we have seen we have drawn this free body diagrams so now we can start solving it So these are the two conditions given to us under which we can start our problem solution. So the displacement by the husband is equal to the displacement by the wife and the work done by husband is equal to the work done by wife. Even though the forces, magnitudes of the forces are different, but the work done by the husband is equal to work done by the wife during the same displacement means that the horizontal components of both forces must be equal because those are the forces which are actually those are the components which are actually doing act the work along the direction of displacement so first work done by the uh, work done by the husband can be represented with this formula fh we represent it with fh means the work done by husband is equal to fh cause of theta h theta h is the angle which is uh, the angle of the force applied by husband times the displacement s so similarly we can drive a formula for we can write a formula for the work done by the wife so ww we call it ww and the force w f w cause of theta w is equal uh, times the displacement and we know that these both displacements are equal and these both work done are equal as yes, because we know because this is given in the statement so since the husband and wife do the same amount of work we can write the, these formulas like this because these two work done will be equal to each other the magnitude of the, the displacement is also same so s can be uh, eliminated from both sides and then we can solve this equation for fw like this okay so now we have clearly derived a formula in which we know all these values we know the for the force we know the force exerted by the husband we know this angle we know this angle and then by just in the ex, uh, substituting the values we can find our answer very easily so the force applied by the wife is equal to 45 newtons very simple question right? the statement was long but the solution is very simple okay this problem states that a 1200 kilograms car is being driven up a five degrees hill a uh, frictional force is directed opposite to the motion of the car and has a magnitude of 
524 newtons. A force F is applied to the car by the road and propels the car forward. In the direction to, the, the, or to these two forces, two other forces act on the car. Those two other forces are weight and the normal force. The weight is downwards and the normal force is perpendicular to the road surface. Take a note of this. This is perpendicular to the road surface. Fn is perpendicular to the road surface and road surface is inclined at 5 degrees. So the length of the road up the hill is 290 meters. So means the displacement is 290 meters. What should be the magnitude of F? F is the applied force. So that the net work done by all the forces acting on the car is 150 kilojoules. Now there are four forces acting on this car. One is the frictional force. One is the applied force. One, the third one is the weight and fourth one is the normal force okay so the sum of all these forces must be equal to uh, the sum of all the sum of the work done by all these forces must be equal to 150 kilojoules so in order to means we are given the value of the frictional force and we are given the value of the mass from where we can calculate the weight and the normal force also the thing that we do not know is the applied force we have to find out the magnitude of the applied force such that the work the network done by all the forces is equal to 150 kilojoules now let us uh, it's so this plus sign is important because work done can also be negative okay now let's uh, look at a, a, the diagram so we from using this uh, information we can draw this diagram this is the road which is inclined at 5 degrees okay this is the 5 degrees with horizontal so force of friction will of course it will be in the opposite direction to the motion of the car the car is moving upwards and the displacement it covers is 290 meters and the force of friction is in the opposite direction which is 524 newtons okay the weight is vertically downwards and this is sorry this must be normal force let me write it here it is actually this one is actually F this is the normal force in a vertical upwards direction so this is normal force is also making an angle of 5 degrees with the horizontal with the vertical sorry not the horizontal with the vertical okay so this weight component this is weight actually this weight component will be divided into two components this weight because it is vertically it is making an angle of five degrees how it makes an angle of five degrees so actually if two lines are perpendicular to each other uh, uh, two lines perpendicularly intersect each other and then they are shifted by a certain amount like this one this shift it is tilted by uh, 5 degrees the other one will also be tilted by 5 degrees so this one with horizontal this one with vertical let's take a look at that first if two lines are perpendicular to each other like line 1 and line 2 and keeping them perpendicular if they are tilted by a certain angle like this the, the angle between line 1 and the horizontal axis will be equal to the angle between line 2 and the vertical axis. It can be simply visualized by drawing a right angle triangle between line 1 and the horizontal axis like this yellow triangle. It will fit between line 2 and the vertical axis like this. It shows that both of these angles are equal. Okay, now coming back to this problem. So these two angles are 5 degrees. We are given this angle, but we can find out this angle as you just saw before. So using all this information, we have to find out. Using all this information, we have to find out the value of the applied force. So given data can be written like this. 
that mass is equal to 1200 kilograms angle it makes with the horizontal is 5 degrees and the friction force is 524 newtons displacement is 290 meters and the total work done is equal to 150 kilojoules positive and what we have to find out is the applied force <clears throat> the magnitude of applied force we need to calculate okay here uh, the network done we are given that it must be equal to 150 kilojoules so we call that total work done on network is equal to wt wf is the work done by applied force this one is the work done by force of friction this is the work done by the gravitational force or the weight and this is the work done by normal force so all must be equal to 150 kilojoules so uh, we can do that turn by turn now and then add them together so first work done by the applied force so the work done by applied force is fs cos of theta because this force is applied in the direction of displacement that is why the cos of zero is here so f is unknown s is 290 meters and cos of zero is one it gives us wf for the work done by applied force is equal to 290 times f now second is work done by the force of friction so force of friction is in the opposite direction to the displacement that is why f is cos of 180 180 cos of 180 is equal to minus 1 so f we are known with f is known it is 524 newtons we use this value times s is 290 meters and cos of 180 degrees is minus 1 so by calculations we get uh, the work done by frictional force is negative 151 960 joules okay this is the negative work because the direction of the force is opposite to the direction of displacement so the work done by gravitational force so we have calculated we have found out the work done by applied force then frictional force now work done by the gravitational force or the weight so the the component which is along or in the opposite direction or along the horizontal is mg sine of 5 it is like this let me draw here for you if you can remember from the previous slide for example sorry this is the inclined plane and this was let us consider this one as car and this is the weight okay and this is the normal force this is weight or I call it sorry call it fg force of gravity so this one is making an angle of 5 degrees here this is 5 degrees okay now we have to divide it into two components this one and this one so this one is vertical this there is no motion there is no movement or uh, in the object along this direction okay there is no movement along this direction so this one actually and since this is the angle the component in front of it this one will be fg or mg sine of five degrees okay and this one is fg or mg cos of 5 degrees so now now we have to find out component which is along in the direction or opposite to the direction of motion since the car is moving in this direction okay so definitely this force is not doing any work so this component is not the fg or mg cos of 5 is not doing any work so the work done will be by fg sine of 5 but since its direction is opposite 
to the direction of the motion of the object they are making 180 degrees angle with each other therefore we can we can write it with negative sign so it must have been actually mg sign of mg times s times sign of 5 times cause of 180 degrees so cause of 180 degrees is minus 1 so we simply use negative sign with it <coughs> so we use for uh, values now m is equal to 1200 g is equal to 9.8 s is equal to 290 and sine of 5 degrees is 0 0.087 so we get this value now so the last force that can that can potentially do some work is wn or the normal force this normal force is perpendicular to the direction of the motion so cos of 90 will be equal to 0 means that it is not doing any work so the work done is actually by uh, ff the applied force frictional force force of gravity so we all add them all together like this and then we can from there we can solve that equation for f this f and we get the value here so the work done by the force applied force is equal to 2 point sorry 2064 joules or 2.064 kilojoules okay both can be uh, means you can write in joules or you can write in kilojoules okay this problem involves uh, work energy principle just to remind you what the work energy principle is it states that the difference in the kinetic energy is equal to the work done on an object so here uh, this state uh, this problem states that uh, 0 0.075 kilograms arrow is fired horizontally okay and the bowstring exerts an average force of 65 newtons on the arrow over a distance of 0.9 meters so what is the speed of what is the speed does the arrow leave the bow means we have to find out the speed at which the arrow is leaving the bow okay it's it starts with zero velocity and then it gains some velocity okay we have to find out the velocity with which the arrow has left the bow so the given data for this can be represented as the mass is this one angle is zero degrees because the force and the bow it is because it is fired horizontally right so it is making zero angle with the horizontal the distance is it covers is 0.9 meters because this is the distance during which the force was being applied okay after that it left the bow and there was no force being applied on it so the average force was f uh, by the by the bow it is 65 newtons so initial speed or in is equal to zero because it was stationary so the the velocity the speed that we have to find out uh, when it was leaving the bow will be called as final speed so this is what we have to find out we have to find the final speed so you know uh, we we can do it with the help of uh, work energy principle okay now let's take a look at the solution we can start with the by calculating the work done using the formula that we know that the work done on the arrow by the bow is given by this so we know the formula f is cause of theta the, the angle will be zero because the uh, force exerted by the bow is in the same direction as the displacement of the arrow so because the force and displacement both are in the same direction so the cause of theta will be cause of theta is cause of, so the angle is zero between them and cause of zero is equal to one so w is equal to f times s now this work done by the bow on the arrow is converted into kinetic energy of the arrow okay because it start to move afterwards and that work is converted into the kinetic energy and according to work energy principle the difference in the kinetic energy before and after applying the force is equal to the work done 
so when the force is being acting means the when uh, the initial means the difference in the kinetic energy is actually represented as the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy so it is uh, since we know that the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square we can write it like this so this is actually kinetic energy final and this is kinetic energy initial so the difference is the difference between the two is equal to difference in the kinetic energy of the object so we know the initial velocity is equal initial speed is equal to zero therefore the initial kinetic energy is also equal to zero then we can directly from there we can drive or we can solve for solve this equation for vf or the final velocity because it was square so once we have to remove the square we have to take the square root so both the uh, rest of the terms are going on the other side and make this form so this one is zero or we can you can substitute zero here or after uh, solving for vf so you will get the same answer this is very simple equation to solve for and i hope you understand it very easily so once you have solved it you will get the answer that vf is equal to 39.49 or 39.5 meters per second this was very simple and i hope you have understood it now the last problem it is it says that a jet fighter is launched from an aircraft carrier with the aid of its own engines and a steam powered catapult the thrust of this its engines is 2.3 times 10 raised to the power 9 over 10 raised to the power 5 newtons in being launched from rest okay this is the point you have to note from rest means its initial kinetic energy is zero and it moves through a distance of 87 meters the displacement is 87 meters the kinetic energy it has a kinetic energy of 4.5 10, 10 times 10 raised to the power 7 joules this is its final kinetic energy initial kinetic energy is zero because it was at rest so what is the work done on the jet by the catapult now we have to calculate the work done by the catapult so from here we can extract the given data like this applied force is 2.3 into 10 raised to 5 newtons the displacement or distance is this one uh, 87 meters okay and initial kinetic energy is zero final kinetic energy is this one okay and we have to calculate the work done by the catapult on the jet so we write it like this w underscore catapult we need to find the work done by the catapult on the jet we can make use of work energy principle so using work energy principle the total work done is equal to the difference in kinetic energy so the total work done is the work done by the catapult and work done by the engines so in the form of thrust by applying thrust to the, uh, the to the jet it must be equal to the difference in the kinetic energies so ki final kinetic uh, kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy noting that initial kinetic energy is zero because the jet was at rest initially therefore the initial kinetic energy this one will be equal to zero and kef is stays like this so the work done by the thrust is equal to f cos of theta f is the force applied by the engines and w catapult we have to find this out so now we are solving for it w catapult will stay here and rest of the terms will go on the other side so everything has gone to the other side and only w catapult stays on the left hand side so the final kinetic energy you were given that it was 4.5 into 10 to 7 joules okay times f cos of theta cos of zero because the engine is exerting the force the thrust is in the same direction as the displacement therefore it the angle between them will be equal to zero so 2.3 into 10 to 5 is the thrust this one applied force so 2.3 into 10 to 10 uh, 10 to the power minus uh, 10 to the power 5 newtons times the displacement displacement was 87 
meters so we use all these values and we calculate it we get the work done by the catapult is equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 7 joules or you can write this uh, you can write it 25 uh, 25 uh, mega joules okay so that is all for this tutorial if you have any question we can discuss it later you can text me or uh, we can discuss in the next class.